What is up? What is up? What's going on? Last video you saw, guys, we went ahead and got the head all put back together, ready to go. Now, I'm going to jump into the block. First thing I'm going to do is drain the oil out of it. Once we get the oil out, we can start taking things apart. Water pump, crank pulley, alternator, filter housing, the brackets for the engine mounts, the shiver, all of this front casing, timing stuff, everything come off. So we can get the block cleaned off and everything. Once parts off, we can clean those and go through this front seal, rear main seal, freeze plugs, oil pan gasket, all that. Clean it up, paint it, scrape off this casting material, and then we can get the head put back on it and get this ready to be put back in the truck. So we got some work to do. So enough talking. Let's get to it. Alright guys, so we got the block all cleaned and painted as you guys saw. I know there's black paint on this, don't worry. When this is dried more, we're going to be back taping it and everything. And all this is going to get painted silver and stuff. And we still got all the little pieces here. Um, I was going to be getting a new oil pump and doing all that stuff, but truck had good oil pressure, so I'm not going to mess with it. And that water pump is new, so I'm not going to replace the water pump. Just money we could put in other places. For the build but we are going to be doing a front main seal and a rear main seal and all the freeze plugs so that is that but right now what i'm gonna go ahead and do is we got to get all this old gasket material and clean the surface so what i got here some sandpaper on a paint roller i'm just gonna go ahead and hold it tight and just brush across it you know just like so as you can see and you get this surface cleaned and stuff that's all we're going to be doing, just like that. So, we don't need to put a lot of pressure, if any. We're just trying to get a smooth surface and even surface. That's why you want to hold something in here. 2x4 would be best, but I do have a piece of 2x4. Yeah, you just want to knock down all that old gasket stuff, you know. 
and anything that gets down in here and stuff i'm not worried about it i'm gonna blow air and all this and we're gonna be getting the freeze plugs out of it anyways and so let me bust this out real quick Hi guys, so this is where we're at. So now we're gonna start assembling what we need to assemble, the oil filter housing, coolant stuff, water pump, all that. Freeze plugs gotta be done. Then we can do the head gasket on it, throw the head on it, set the timing and everything on it. And at that point, it'll just be, um, I wanna mount the turbo, the manifold on, the turbo manifold and the turbo on it, so I can figure out the oil feed and oil drain lines on it. And then at that point, it should be ready to be put back in the truck after we do still uh, the, it's got to come off through the rear and seal the clutch, all that stuff. And then we can put it in the truck after we're done doing the engine bay stuff that we need to do. But you know, the one and only Permatex right there, ultra gray, so we can seal some things up. So let's go ahead and pop this baby open real quick. Bada bing, bada boom. Ready to cut my tip. I like to do a little bit of an angle. Get that puppy on there. Give it a squeeze. All right, and then she's ready. Locked and loaded, baby. Let's get it. I'm just gonna run them down by hand. Finger tight them. So it cures and kind of smashes the Permatex RTV, so it coats it all around and has a good seal all around. So just hand tighten them, let that sit, and then just keep moving forward. All right, so next, I'm gonna put on thermostat housing. Got a new gasket, a new thermostat. Thermostat with no gasket, just sits in like that. This here, just like so. But I'm gonna put a little layer around this. Some people don't like doing it, but Thermostat's on the run, boy. It's too hot out here for it. I'm just gonna put a little bit of RTV around it. Not a lot, just a little coating, just to help the gasket not move around. So just a little layer around it, not too much. Just something to help the gasket, like I said, not move. So, and put that right there. I'm gonna put a little bit around this as well. I ain't gonna hurt it. Light little coat. And then do the smear job. Nothing crazy, nothing outrageous. Just nice little thin layer all around. Put the thermostat back in there. Then we can put the gasket on there. So that's gonna kind of hold it in place. Alright, that's on there.
All right, so all that's on there. All right, guys, so I let it sit for a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead without hitting the trigger. I'm just gonna use it kind of like a ratchet with a little bit of leverage. Snug it down a little bit. Alright, all the accessories on the outside are on. Let's move on. Alright, so now that all this out here is done, head gasket time. So I'm going to go ahead and unbox it. And then we're going to copper spray this, set it on here, set the head down, drop the head bolts and everything in it, and start torquing the head down. and ready to be put together. All right, so what I'm doing now is a critical step that you need to make sure you do, especially if you fresh washed it. I'm taking a piece of um, paper towel and shoving it down in the hole where all the head bolts are gonna go to make sure there's no water in it. Because if there's water in there and you go to put the head bolts, you can crack your block or do a bunch of stuff you don't want it to do. So make sure you do that. And I like running a thread chaser for everything. Unfortunately, I don't have it one here, but I'm just going to run the, the bolts in and out of it a few times. So that will work as well. Take the towel, shove it down in the hole as far as you can. And you can see, I'm just going to keep pulling out. I'm just going to dry up the water that's in those holes. And blowing them out with air is good too. You got that Permatex copper spray. I tent seal it. I'm going to go ahead and spray this head gasket and let it sit for a minute. Then we'll get it all slapped on the block. sit for about five minutes or so and then we'll get the head slapped on with the head gasket and everything all right so we got the head gasket set up a little bit i'm gonna go ahead and slap the head gasket on the block then we'll get the head put down and i got brand new head bolts right there i got the cam gear right there and we can set timing on everything head bolts here I'm gonna go ahead and drop them down and just run them down I'm not gonna tighten them or torque them yet I'm just gonna run them down guys so it's the next day from the last clip a lot has happened since then i just kind of stopped recording because it got dark and i just want to get it done but in the process of torquing the head down we did have a bolt break right here as you can see 
and that boat broke at 25 foot pounds of torque not a lot how it broke we're still unsure but it broke it was in this cylinder right here and we did get it out of there the heads right here clearly the heads off the block went inside and we weren't supposed to get no rain but it rained so now there's rust in here but that's fine i'll clean it out and everything and then i'm gonna spray everything with wd-40 throw the head back on it and cover it with a garbage bag or something so no more water can get on it and it doesn't mess anything up but right now that's the least of worries good thing is we did get the piece out of there um i gotta get a new head gasket so i'm trying to see if any parts store local has a head gasket and head bolts and go from there i mean these bolts should have been fine yeah i mean all the other ones are fine it was just that one broke nothing was in the threads like i said i cleaned them out blew it out with a little can of air and ran a thread chaser through it and it still did that so not sure why i took another bolt i can show you guys now in this hole here and it runs all the way down we marked one of the bolts how far they went down in other ones and then this one they all went down the same amount but for some reason there's water in it right now because it rained but we'll blow it back out but yeah it all went down the same amount so i'm unsure of why it broke and what caused that to happen so i talked to a couple people they're probably saying the bolts itself were just cheap bolts which i kind of agree but it is what it is we got some better bolts coming and trying to find a head gasket as well for it so i was planning on doing arp head studs but you know just too expensive and i don't want to wait this came with a kit and i'm like you know what it comes with a kit why not we'll just get this and use it i've used this kit plenty of times the person i ordered it from i've used theirs on a bunch of stuff when i rebuilt the engine and the turbo cord um a bunch of other cars in the past before the youtube times and i've never had issues with any of it but now we're set back a lot so trying to locate some parts and get it together but i'm gonna end this video here guys this isn't the ending i want it but that's just the way it goes when building stuff so yeah, yeah. what's up i'm gonna go get them yeah, go eat your chicken nuggets, buddy. But, yeah, this is just where we're going to have to leave this one here until we figure it out. Get some videos edited up. I got two videos I got to edit. And keep going from here. You know, might just slap the head on there and then start mocking up the turbo stuff. So I can figure out the oil drain, the oil feed line, all that other stuff, you know. But, yeah, guys, please hit that thumbs up for this. And it helps us share in these videos, comment below. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. It's free, it doesn't cost you guys anything, and it helps us a lot over here on the other end of the camera. So, thank you for watching, guys, and thank you for subscribing. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, and God bless.